how dirty this thing is. That's a well-used battery right there. Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today, we're gonna do a battery teardown. I do not recommend doing this to anybody, for anybody, for any reason whatsoever. Do not do this at home. Do not attempt. You've been warned. Let's go do it. This is the Golden Mate LFP12100 or 12100, 12 volts, 100 amp hour battery. This battery is dirty and used because I have used it in my RV as my house box. My ham radio RV Go box requires a 100 amp hour battery. The other cool thing about a 100 amp hour battery is that these things are super lightweight compared to a regular Group 27 sealed lead acid battery or slab. So what I wanted to do, normally I do, you know, how long can this battery last videos? I've done a how long can a 100 amp hour battery last. It's ridiculous how long a 100 amp hour battery lasts, but that's all dependent upon what you're actually going to be doing with a 100 amp hour battery, which is kind of awesome because the possibilities are pretty limitless as to what you can actually do with a 100 amp hour battery. In my case, I powered my furnace with it. I powered my lights with it. I powered all of my USB recharging. I powered my radio station and I recharged it via solar. So I was off grid for a week. The solar really helps though. However, the first two days of that week, there was no sun. So what I want to do today that's different is I want to tear this thing down. I've never done a battery tear down. I don't know what's inside of these things. I mean, I have an idea. It's got batteries and they're wired together and it's got a BMS, but I want to see, you know, seeing is believing, right? So, in the order of let's do this safe, I am outside and I have my battery and I have a fire extinguisher and I have a small toolbox. I don't know what tools I'm gonna need, but this has got a variety of screwdrivers. I have a great big toolbox. It's the truck that I'm filming on. And in case any emergencies should arise, I've got my two meter handy talkie and a local repeater that nobody's listening on. Let's get to work. Fire extinguisher out of the way, toolbox out of the way. So on top you have two mounting studs and these ones are Phillips head and also can be used with your regular old fashioned socket set if that's what you desire. I happen to use the Phillips head most often because it's most often what I have with me. It comes with a nice little carrying strap. The first time I got one of these big batteries, I thought the carrying strap was a joke and I got rid of it and now I kind of regret it because, you know, carrying strap. I can carry this one handed instead of requiring two. It requires two because of the bulk, not because of the weight and the carrying strap fixes that. And the carrying strap slides in and slides out really easy. There are plastic tabs on the side on the ends as keepers. And all you gotta do is move them out of the way and then you can manipulate the strap out of the way very easily. And when it's in, those plastic tabs or keepers, keeper, keeper the thinger. On the back side of the battery, there is a QR code. This QR code is how you get your warranty information or more information about the battery. If you have any warranty claims, Golden Mate stands behind their product, scan that, follow the directions, send it in. They'll tell you what to do from there. On the top of the battery, there are little black screw covers. So I'm hoping that means that there are little screws under the covers. So we're gonna prize those off. Ah, yes, Phillips head screws and my truck has these handy dandy little hardware holders. So that's where I'm putting all the hardware so I don't lose it. Three on the back, three on the front. Into the toolkit I go for a screwdriver and a Phillips head screw, because that's what these are, is Phillips head screws. Ooh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Let's get you guys over here and take a look at this. All right, the lid just comes right straight off nice and easy. And there we go. Oh, it smells like China in there. There's some padding here to keep the battery down inside the case so that it doesn't pop up because obviously there's more room in the case than there is battery in there. And they do that to match up with popular battery sizes. This is what you call a group 27 size, I believe. It's because that's what the deep cycle marine battery size is or what some of your agricultural battery sizes are. These batteries are not capable of starting vehicles. You need a special kind of battery design for that. They do make them, but this isn't one of them. It's the size that counts. And that's what they're wanting you to do is put this in place of those kind of batteries where you don't need starting power, you need extended runtime. And that's one of the real benefits. When you get a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, it lasts twice as long as a 
100 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. That sealed lead acid battery has 100 amp hours in it if you use it all the way to its death and it will die a horrible, horrible death at, you know, 10 volts and never be revived. These things go right off the cliff at 100 hours of consumption at one amp, but they're pretty close to, you know, 13 volts all the way from start to finish. It's pretty cool. Back to more battery stuff. There are a bunch of individual wires for the positive battery terminal and also a bunch of individual wires less for the negative battery terminal. We've got four total for the negative terminal and then we have a whole bunch. I'm going to guess that there's probably eight in there, but I can't really count them up all that well. And then those four negative wires hook up to the P minus section of the battery management system and the B minus side has a whole bunch of other wires on it besides just those four that go down into the cells. Let's keep digging. Over here on the positive side, there is also, well, there's also on the negative side over there, but there's these paddings in here that keep the battery from going left and right inside the case as well. But the battery, where is it? Can you see it? Yeah, it's hard to see. But the battery down in there is full width front to back of the case. All right, I have pried up the battery management system board, the BMS board, and there is this tacky piece of insulation material and there are temperature probes down here. And I don't know if this is high temp or low temp, but there they are. And then you can see all the little batteries peeking out. Negative side of your battery here, and you have your positive terminals of your battery here. And then let's count up the batteries. There is a set of three, a set of three, a set of three, and it goes 10 across. So three times 10 is 30. There's 30 there. There is 30 there and they are stacked double high inside. So 30, 60, 90 below, 120 below. And there is all of your red wires that we looked at earlier. With the way that these temperature probes are, I bet they go down inside of the cell holes, of the holes between the cells, the cell holes. So that's where I'm gonna put them back. All right, she is all back together now and up and running. <sighs> Good thing I did this outside. I was worried there for a minute. And thankfully all my buddies over on the two meter repeater here locally were just ready to come in as I needed them when I reached out over the airwaves for an emergency call. This is the Golden Mate LFP. Yeah, the Golden Mate LFP 12100. It is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Easy math says, 1,280 watt hours out of that thing as well. This thing will run your radio for as long as you want. And by as long as you want, I mean, you're gonna have to sleep sometime. If you're one of those people who doesn't like to sleep, get yourself a battery charger. There are links in the description down below where you can get more information on this battery. If you like watching somebody take stuff apart who kinda knows a little tiny bit about what he's talking about, this is a channel for you. Be sure you're subscribed. There's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.